Be responsive. What it means is that when you have a certain deadline and you have a certain um, thing that needs to be accomplished, that you need to be responsive to that deadline and hold yourself accountable to it. We have monthly meetings where we talk about the best of the best stories of people living the values and the purpose. And I have to tell you, this was one of the stories in the last meeting. It's actually the Friday before July 4th weekend. The company's taken off Monday and Tuesday. One of our case managers gets a call from a customer who's been pretty disgruntled with us. They say, hey, Jared, we didn't get a great response rate for people being involved in this case, and we'd like you to send out another mailing. I looked at the case and I recognized that the following Friday was the response deadline. Everyone's pretty much headed out. It's a four-day weekend. People are going with their families and friends out of town. And about four o'clock, he gets the approval to go ahead and redo the mailing. I communicated back to them. We would not be able to get this reminder postcard out until Wednesday. If we send it out on Wednesday and their response deadline is Friday, it would not be likely that these people would actually receive the postcard on time. And so Jared, instead of saying no, he was trying to be really responsive. Started thinking about the big picture how important it was for the case that this reminder postcard went out over the weekend to impress the court. And so what he did is he called Ricky, who is the person who sends out all the postcards. Yeah, he gives me a call on that. I thought he was messing around. <laughs> uh, we were at a brewery, me and Nick and his wife and a friend, um, just having a couple drinks. I asked him if he would be willing to come in on Saturday and get this postcard out. But Ricky said, hey, let me look at it and see whether we have um, the stock and see whether I can get the people to come in. I just got a phone call from Ricky and he told me we got a little situation that we need to handle. So uh, of course I already know what that means. The case needs to go out. It was approximately 179,000 postcards. We had to think about a game plan so right away about stock. It was a big, it was a big deal. 179,000 pieces of mail had to go out with different addresses on it to all over the United States. So when he called back and told me that he could do it, great. Time to get focused and serious. It's all about pleasing them. They are expecting quick turnaround. The response that I got from Ricky Romo was just, yeah, what can I do? Prepped it for Adrian, boxed it up. Come over here, pick up the stock, take it to another location, making sure that the quality print was right. Making sure the lines of communication were there and quick. I emailed all of the attorneys and let them know that we realize the importance of this. We're gonna go ahead and get this mailing out for you. Our salesperson called the lawyer and said, hey, look at who is your case management firm again? And the lawyer said, you guys are. By that act, um, we basically are getting all of their cases back. I wanna build that kind of culture here, you know, with people, like their mindsets behind it. That's really, the simplest way. Think about it, in the last year they did two and a half million dollars worth of business with us. It's probably a million dollar decision. It made such a big impact. Just jumping out and just being responsive. Those values really helped us to bring our brand purpose to life. When all was said and done, we delivered on our promise to the attorneys. And what it did for everyone else is it gave them an example. The reason we exist, the difference we make in the world, is to simply elevate people. By exhibiting these core values, elevated everybody in the company, elevated the customer. It's this company first customer service level that we have that makes me love working here. And so that's just one example of how the values are helping to drive different decisions. Be responsive.